everyone, it is me again, FAO here. Today, I'll be playing Sonic Adventure DX. I mean, I might as well. I mean, I've already played Sonic Forces, and, um... Well, Sonic Forces left a lot to be desired. It... It, it was rushed, sure, but it's not, like, 06 bad. Like, the game was good, at least, you know, Episode Shadow. But for the most part, it was automated rail systems and etc. Really, there's only one way to play Sonic Forces, and that way is to let the game play for you. So, I might as well go back to Sonic's uh, first 3D debut. No, that does not count. That does not count. Well, actually, technically it does because those models are used in this game. Any well, unused, they're placeholder. Anyways, without further ado, oh right. Uh. It wasn't designed for controllers? Then what the hell do you call the Dreamcast then? It says it's launching, but it's not doing anything. Uh... Hold on. It could be when I was, uh, messing about with it because I was trying to extract models from this. I completely forgot that I had a DVD drive on my computer. That's why those things are there. Sorry if this is like... Uh, very unorganized. I'm just trying to see what the crap happened. Okay, so everything is... Why isn't it launching? La launch. Launch? Hold on. Okay. That's strange. It's... Let me just uninstall it quickly, yes. So now it's uninstalled it. And then, let me actually set up a controller configuration for this, because apparently it doesn't, it doesn't actually like it. Okay, so, that is still the usual config. Okay, so, holy crap! Well, Three thousand six hundred and seventy-seven hours on Sonic Adventure. Well, then again, it's a good game. So apparently, okay. So this is a configuration from the community. Apparently, this guy made a good. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. Let's stick. It's the same. What? I'll apply it, because it apparently is better. Let's see now. Okay, so that's select. Okay. So, back, controller options, okay, now I'm gonna do extra high because I hit myself, uh, and now let me reinstall the game, I understand this. Don't worry, it takes a grand total of like three seconds to install this game because I have fast internet. 
I mean, it's not going to the fastest hard drive in the world, but it's going to the fat, well, not, not the fast internet, but, like, it should only take, like, a minute. I, I actually might actually be done by the time I'm done talking. Um, hmm. Hopefully, it will actually work with the Xbox controller. Even though Director's Cut was actually released on the Xbox first, because after the Dreamcast died, which Sonic Adventure 2 helped kill, because it's not that Sonic Adventure 2 was a bad game. Apparently, one of the many reasons why the Dreamcast died is because people were excited for Sonic Adventure 2. Actually, Sonic Adventure 2 got a very high rating uh, on many review aggregate sites. Well, there was a bug on the original Dreamcast version where if you simply played the game up to, I believe, Cannon's Core Eggman stage, at the very beginning of the level, the collision fails to load, and you fall to your death, and then you get a game over because you can't do anything about it. Yeah. Uh, then they remastered it for the GameCube, and that was fixed, and um, the remaster is actually here. Ah. Okay. Ah. Um, I may have broke it. Uh, and, and, what? No, no, you're supposed to... Okay. And that does not want to work. Great. Turn on V-Sync, because it's not designed for... It's not designed for 60 hertz. Just technically 60 FPS. Input. Input device. Xbox 360 controller. Good. Play. Hopefully it works. It's gonna probably crash up the entire time. It's the wrong screen. That is the wrong, that is the wrong screen. It, it. <laughs> Uh, th that's the wrong screen entirely. It on my other screen. Uh, th 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 no, no, <laughs> it's the wrong screen, and it breaks. It, it always does this. I have to like click it twice because the big screen mode for Steam breaks it a bit. So I think it is. This one, this one here. Input device. Can I save this? Or do I just have to do this every single time I load up the game? Oh, I just the wrong screen again. Why did this always happen? Whenever I try to do any kind of like like Xbox game or something along those lines, I have to spend half of the episode trying to like configure stuff. Actually, wouldn't it just be easier to not go into Oh dear. Zero! Okay. Um, it's going to take a lot longer because this main screen has 180 hertz in it, in it. Meaning that I can actually see up to 180 FPS. Because hertz just means how much it can refresh the image per second. But let's, let's keep it at a constant one. I don't think Sonic Adventure likes being faster than it was designed for. Irony, seeing as that's the name of the game, 
speed. Hopefully they didn't crash anything. Okay, okay, good. And, and, and they're... <laughs> oh, it's, it's, it, I think it crashed. Nope, it didn't crash. Oh, it changed resolution. It probably, probably changing to something the recording. Okay. Well. Okay, so this is actually working. So, I've played this game through a competition before, but not on Steam. I've, um, I actually played the game on PC before there was a Steam release. So, let me just play the game. I know this game like by heart. I know this game like by heart. I played it so much. Actually, um, because I'm me, I've actually seen this cutscene in mortal form. Because I can. Oh, yeah, this is happening. I see the animation just stole as janky as ever. What's up? Few rumbles. What the heck? You forgot the gun from the back. Oh no! Our weapons are useless! Retreat! All personnel! Fall back! Oh yeah! This could be fun! Well, here's our first fight. You know, it's actually very unorthodox. This is, a, this is like the only Sonic game that begins with the boss battle. Chaos Zero. I have his model as well. So, okay, that's an X spin dash. Ah, oh, I can feel that! Wow, I can actually feel the rumble. The game wasn't designed for that, but I can actually feel the rumble. Actually, I think it was, but you had to have the Dream Tap Rumble Pack. Hey, I'll play with you some other time. Do, 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 do. Come on, you big drip. Where you going? Know nothing, fool. It's Chaos, the god of destruction. Not that one. <laughs> huh? What? Tails? Watch out! You're gonna crash! Ah! Tails! Ow! Ow! Oh, what am I gonna do with Ow. you? That was a really hard rumble! <laughs> <laughs> 
I could I could actually steal the rumble because apparently it's Jesus. Right, so I think yes, yeah, bumper or camera. Okay, that's inverted, but I think I'm getting used, used to that. So I know that there's a, that since this game is old and all, there's a lot of inconsistencies. So you can actually jump up here and then like um so at this corner right here, see how Sonic is janking out? If you spam it hard enough, like it's random, it's completely random, but if you spam it hard enough, you'll go to the wall. Which, yeah. And also, apparently, if you just spin dash at these doors. I think that... Hold on, no. I think that's when you glitch outside of that. Because these doors here, for those of you who played the game, lead to the main... Like, the main-ish station square area. And a lot of you will know that I'm trying to get out of bounds to get to that area early. I've only gotten this to work once. It's, it is so random. Yeah, it's really random. So, I'm going to play the game normally, but I will show off tricks if you want to come up, come up to them. I ain't gonna do the one where I get tail with ever close to that one's really hard. I can feel the rumbling. I like, uh, kind of... Kind of like jarring because I don't think I've ever played Sonic with a rumble control before. Oh yeah, so you were able to do in this game. Max speed forever. Also, you can actually um get up there. Ah, this iconic scene. Um, it was regarded as the scene that that sold the, the Dreamcast. And yes, this game has some issues, sure, but it's more of a relic of the time, and not oh, it's a bad game. Cause this was made in 1998. A whole three years before Sonic Adventure 2. But yeah, if you know the tricks, you're able to get this game quite like, quickly. Like, here, spam, just spam the crap out of the spin dash to get infinite speed. Unless you screw up like me and miss the top pass. See, I think this was the best the absolute best 3D Sonic game because it it kept the soul, the spirit and soul of the, the original 2D games or at least classic ones because the whole purpose of the game is that the better you play the like the better your reward but also gets harder top pass and all Sonic Adventure 2 kind of had that but only for Sonic stages. And then, after that, they completely lost it. I mean, they almost had it for Sonic Forces. But like Sonic 06, closed but no cigar. I get the how it got, what's actually worked. Jump on. on panel number one. It will take you to panels two and three. Jump as soon as you land on a panel or else you'll fall. Now, I'm also going to be doing the Chow Garden stuff because, well, good achievements here now. So, might as well. Yes! Yeah, not bad! You just go so fast in this game. Like, that's the thing. You have to be a veteran to know. Hey, Sonic! Long time no see, huh? I'm just glad you're okay. What happened anyway? 
You're too good of a pilot to just crash like that. That was a test run using a new prototype propulsion system. It's got a few bugs to iron out. Why not just use my plane, the Tornado? Thanks, but you gotta check out my newest power supply. Ta-da! Whoa! A Chaos Emerald! Yep, I just happened to find one of the seven emeralds during one of my test flights. This thing's got unlimited power, you know. So I figured, why not use it to power my plane? Supercharged! You gotta come over to my workshop, Sonic. I've got something I've gotta show you. It's in the Mystic Ruins. The fastest way is by train. Let's go! Okay. Many things wrong with this. First off, I am supposed to be the fastest thing alive. Why do I require train? Second off, that cutscene was cheesy AF. Third off, uh, why are we in this world? Cause think about it, the first, technically first ever 3D Sonic game was Sonic Jam on, uh, the, on the, the Sega Saturn, I think. Or, what is 32? I don't remember. Um, and what happened is that they were in Green Hill Zone, in that one. But then all of a sudden we're in Station Square, which we've seen from Sonic X in the human world. Now this one I can get working, kind of consistently. Um, essentially what you're doing is that you're trying to get past the barrier that is with the police. Now, I think that the other side is more reliable. Like, a lot of the glitches for Sonic is just breaking past collision. Now, they may have fixed this. I have been, I am not sure. Ooh, that's... Ha! Huh. Clicking down the left stick does that? Oh. Now, I'm not sure exactly what gets this to work, but eventually I would break through. Now, if this takes too long, I'm not gonna bother because, good lord. Now, of course, what you can do that you can actually go into the game's files and remove the collision entirely. Yeah, you have to mash this a lot. But I did get it to work at some point. I know that it's for a fact. But basically, what, what, I'm, I'm not going to do it anymore, but basically, if you can get past this barrier where the police are, then you can get to Speed Highway early because um, I'll show a picture of it or maybe a clip of it from like A plus or whatever here. But if you can get over there, you can like um, you can get to speed highway early in a breaking the collision next to City Hall, and then also in the same area you're able to get um, okay with precise placement you're actually able to get the light speed dash early as well. I think what this is, is you can spin dash like this, and then, yeah, I think that was a Dreamcast only glitch, where you're able to spin dash and get the casino zone early, or casino whatever early. <clears throat> so, let me just play the game properly, I will do speed highway out of sequence because I love doing that, or uh, maybe not. Because I want to do it at the properly. The train headed for the Mystic Ruins will be departing soon. Hmm. Camera. Relic of the era and all. 
Why do I require a train? Also, over here in front of you. Hold on, wait. Ah, I can't pan the camera upwards. Okay, that wasn't the. But see that differently colored rock? Yeah, you're going here later. I'm pretty sure everyone knows about this game and knows how it works. <laughs> if it isn't Sonic! Look, it's a giant talking egg. Silence. I am Dr. Robotnik, the greatest scientific genius in the world. Whatever you say, Eggman. Enough! I've got big plans. And now I'm gonna put them to work. You're always up to no good. Now what do you want? I want all of the Chaos Emeralds. Better not interfere. Or else! Or else what, you big loser? Or else I'll take them from you by force! The hard way! One of the only few games that start off with two boss battles. Well, technically, we had the Emerald Coast. You know, if you had the light speed dash early, you could actually beat this boss in like five seconds. But spamming that kills it quicker. Exactly 30 seconds. Hey, I'll play with you some other time. Yeah, I, I, I know all of the tricks. I know all of the tricks, good lord. Well, that wasn't so hard. Aha! Oh no! Come on, Chaos. Time to eat! Chaos? Isn't that the same monster I saw the other day? Oh, yes! It's just as the stone tablets predicted. <laughs> His strength increases every time I feed him a Chaos Emerald. With all seven emeralds in him, he'll be invincible and work for me! Together, we'll destroy Station Square. And on its ruins, I'll build Robotnik Land, the ultimate city, where I will rule it all. Come on, Chaos, let's find another emerald, shall we? Sonic, we can't let him get away with this, can we? No way, Tails. Without more emeralds, the monster can't transform. So, it's up to us to get the emeralds before Eggman does, huh? Also, I like how this is the only game in the entire 3D slash technically modern Sonic era that calls Dr. Eggman Dr. Robotnik. Actually, it's the last game in the Sonic series called Robotnik. Because he was officially Robotnik from the Sonic 1 to Sonic... Well, actually, Venture 1. Oh, wait, hold on, no, over here. Yeah, action button. Action button, I think? I think it's X, right? Yeah. That is so weird.